Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grand Prix Reviews today. Today's beer, we got another one from Departed Souls Brewing. And these guys are out of uh, New Jersey. Uh, they're out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, we did one of their beers the other day. Uh, we all went down for all the, that had the uh, ABB and IBUs written on them and no date. These guys are not dating their stuff yet. Uh, I don't know if they're a small brewery or what's going on there, but they need to date their stuff. Uh, they're not spending a lot of money on artwork for the can. Uh, they've got some very nice labels that are stick-on labels on the plain Jane silver can. So they do need to get a dating machine. Now this is an 8.6 or 8.5, 8.5% that says the IBU is a 38 right here on the label. Uh, I don't know if they plan on reusing the label, but they can date those unless they're producing different batches. Uh, uh, over several months, so uh, nothing on the bottom of the can, so they're not dating anything, but it's an 8.5%, not super critical, but I would like to know if I'm drinking a 2015, 2014, or 2016 edition of this, so uh, my, my opinion is, even though it's an 8.5%, unless I see a date, I'm very hesitant, even though it's a big ABV beer, uh, about purchasing this, because I don't know how old it is. Uh, and I don't know how big the brewery is or how long they've been producing this beer. So uh, that would make me hesitant on spending my money on it. Rico sent me this uh, and, the, uh, and the other uh, Departed Soul beer that I did. Uh, I cannot get these beers here. I have never seen them here. So uh, I am uh, very appreciative to Rico and all the rest of you guys, Brandon and Jason and, and everybody that sends me beers. Uh, Otherwise, I'd be limited to the very poor selection that I have here uh, available locally here in Virginia. So, uh, I feel very lucky. Thank you guys. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate everything that everybody sends to me. But as everybody knows me, I don't pull any punches. If you send me a shitty beer, I'm going to tell you it's a shitty beer. If you send me a, a B beer, I'm going to say it's a B beer. If you send me a 10 beer, I'm going to tell you it's a 10 beer. I'm not going to give you a 10 grade just because you sent it to me. Uh, I am appreciative, but I am not going to pull any punches. I'm going to tell you straight up what I think about the beer. I don't, I don't do that to hurt anybody's feelings. I just want to give you my honest opinion. So, let's get on with this one and see where this one ends up. Hopefully it's going to be very tasty. Uh, and right off the bat, I'm going to tell you like I did the other day when we did the other one from these guys. There are no ratings from Beer Advocate or Rate Beer on this. Uh, looking at uh, Beer Advocate, absolutely nobody has commented or posted any reviews on this. And looking at Rate Beer, we've got one, two, three, four, five guys that have posted the, their comments on this beer. So a little bit more on Rate Beer. We only had one on the last one. And we've got five people here on this one, so evidently uh, it's a little more well-known or people have tried or it's been out a little longer, one or the other. So that's why I want to know uh, how old the beer is. Uh, I hate judging beers or, or reviewing beers that are six months, eight months, a year old and they taste quite a bit different than when they did when they were first put in the can or the bottle. So that's why I want to I want to know. If I was just drinking, it wouldn't make a damn. It would, but it, it wouldn't be to the 25,000 plus subscribers that I'm telling about the beer. So, uh, that's why I do that, guys. That's, that's the only reason I do that. So, let's, uh, there is no commercial description, it says here. 
uh, Saison brewed with oats, rye, and a monster, uh, monster hand of nugget hops. So they've used nugget hops exclusively on this. And they've got a little nuggy monster on here. That's why they call it the nuggy monster. So they're using the nugget hops pretty much exclusively on this beer. So let's see where it ends up. Uh, no commercial description, so let me get it open and pour it into the glass while I tell you the cuisine is curried in a tie, just basically like your like your IPAs. And this is a 20, uh, 16 ounce can. Uh, cheese of the earthy, Camembert Fontini, your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby, Parmesan, your stronger cheeses, and to me just poultry fish and shellfish. Glassware is a pint becker. Oop, looks pretty carbonated. We better stop there. We've already got a finger plus of head. And this barely got it in. So let's back off that aggressive pull. You can also use the total for the oversized wine glass for this. And it says here it can be solid for long periods of time. And they always say that when we get up to these eight, eight and a half percent. And you probably could. You'd probably sell this beer, but I still want to know. Very carbonated, guys. Very, very carbonated. We might be able to get the rest out of that in there before I leave the camera. Uh, two fingers of head on that that pour. And it really wasn't a super aggressive pour. Over to the light, it looks a lot like an IPA. It's a, a deep amber color, very cloudy, almost to the copper color. Uh, a lot of lot of bubbles trimming up from the center part of the glass here, guys. Whole lot of bubbles. So it is indeed very well carbonated. So, let's see if we can get our, our big old nose down in the glass with that much head. Definitely getting that Saison farmhouse funky yeast going on. I'm getting apples, pears. Yep, I got my nose down in there. Kind of citrusy. A little bit of spicy rye notes. And with the oats, it should have a good nice mouthfeel to it. it. Smells pretty good. So let's see what it brings. If I can get some of this without getting this all over me. Cheers everybody. Cheers Rico. but I'm getting a strong metallic taste too and that will probably go away once it comes up to room temperature a little bit a lot of times you'll get that metallic taste when it's 40 degrees right out of the fridge I'm getting it on this pears, apples Maybe some slight hint of some bananas in there. Kind of citrusy, but it does have a strong metallic taste to it. So I'm hoping that's going to go away as it comes to room temperature. We'll let her have a sip two or three, whatever she's want. Let me see if I can get the rest of this in there without having the head. And it's just a tad overcarbonated, my friends. <laughs> we got it all in there though. Big, yogurty, fluffy, pillowy head on this beer. So, just a tad overcarbonated. So, I don't know if that lends to say it has a little age on it or if it was just overly carbonated right off the bat. But, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sip on it for a little while and let her have a little taste once the head dives down a little bit, and we'll come up and and do the final chug and grade and see where this one ends up. We want that date on these cans, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here. Uh, been sipping on probably about 30 minutes. Other than being slightly overcarbonated and not having a date on the can. 
it's pretty decent. I don't think it's into quite to the A category, but it is very tasty. Uh, I am getting the spicy rye notes now that's warmed up. The metallic taste has dissipated. I kind of figured it would. Uh, very nice uh, presence of the Saison farmhouse style yeast. Uh, pears, apples. Very juicy, very citrusy. Very easy drinking for a, an eight and a half percenter. Uh, very well done. I would like to see these guys uh, go ahead and get a dating machine so we'll know how old the beer is that uh, you're purchasing. Like I said, I don't know what the distribution is, how far out of uh, New Jersey they go, if they do. Uh, uh, I don't know where Rico, uh, let's see, if he says he bought it at the beer store, I think he said. Uh, that's a store. So he didn't actually get it at the brewery, so they are distributing the beers. So uh, we need to know that. Uh, and I don't know, you know, different states are different, whether you can buy singles or you have to buy a four-pack or a six-pack or, or something like that, uh, whether some states don't allow them to break it up into individual cans. Uh, you have to actually buy the, the four pack or the six pack to, to get them. So I don't know. I don't live in New Jersey, so I don't know uh, uh, if they are allowed to do that there or not. So, uh, but it's very tasty. It is very nice beer, guys. It's a, 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 a nice example of a Saison beer, especially for an eight and a half percenter. Very well made. Alcohol's pretty well hidden. Bottle chug. Yeah, very nice. I'm getting the pears and the apples on this for sure. Very nice. Uh, guys, to me, uh, with the information I have on the can, uh, I think it's a B beer. Uh, I'm going to give it, uh, if it had a date on it, uh, I would probably give it to B plus. Uh, but since it does not, I'm going to give it to B. And I'm going to give it to upper B. Uh, to me, guys, uh, I'm going to give it to 6, but it is kicking the door on the 7. Uh, numeric rating on this, guys, would probably be 86. Probably 86. Maybe even at 87, because it's very well done. Uh, I didn't care much for the metallic taste when it was cold out of the fridge. and didn't care much for how carbon overcarbonated it was, but, yeah, I enjoyed it. So, Rico, once again, my brother for... Thank you for sending this. Uh, it was very tasty. Uh, I love trying all these different beers that I cannot get here. And uh, with all the wonderful subscribers that send me these wonderful beers, uh, I do appreciate it. So if you've had this one from Departed Souls, this is their Nuggy Monster, uh, brewed exclusively with Nugget Hops. Uh, nice Saison farmhouse style ale, 8.5%. So it's a little on the bigger side. Uh, I probably want to drink this one at home or have a designated driver if you're drinking it out at a bar or a brew pub. So, and I'm not even sure they do that, whether they send it out to any of the restaurants or, or bars or anything like that. So, very nice. I enjoyed this. So, if you've had this one from them, uh, their Nuggy Monster, let me know what you think, guys. I'm coming back tomorrow. Let's get something tasty out of the fridge. See you then.